Welcome back to the show, everybody. Yo, we've got a combat cast to get through, so let's not bullshit. Let's just get right into it. Super duper motherfucking magic box. Girl, where you at, baby? Super duper motherfucking magic box. So, um, got the water. I'm finna get relaxed. I'm finna, I'm finna let this finna be free. So don't mind me. I'm just, finna, I'm just finna lean back. I'm just finna lean back. Don't mind Uncle Trip. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna relax, and we are gonna have fun watching the combat cast. All right, so. If y'all ready, then I'm ready. So, me laying back forward. <clears throat> now activating combat cast number seven. Dot e x e. The combat cast starts now. All right, everybody, welcome. welcome. It is, it a, is Friday. a Friday. We are here a little later than usual. Uh, we're here for a combat cast. We have an awesome cast for you today. We'll be showing you, like last time, three characters today. I'm pretty excited. Let's go to the cap. Here we go. As we usually do, let's introduce ourselves. Starting here. He's always been very proud of them. I actually know that's not true because. I've, I've actually driven with you. It's, it's, it's not that. Uh, you know what else we got behind? He's been away. He's been away for two different streams. The beta stream and the stream before that. He is now back. He was sick this week, but he came in on Friday. Still not feeling great. Behind the power station, we have my good friend and all of our good friends, Mr. Matt Burke. Burke's pretty excited to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very exciting stream. It is. Uh, we've actually been pretty hyped about the stream all day. Actually, like the next the next series of streams is uh, where we are getting close to launch. We usually do how many days it was back in the old days, but we had to get the countdown. I'm gonna read through something. You think about that while we're doing it, okay? So we just want to uh, just give everybody a statement really quick. Um, so we have, we've seen everybody's concerns about the variation in the system of Mortal Kombat 11. And we just want everyone to know that we will be adding more variation for competitive play for each character throughout the lifetime of this game. And the variations that you saw in the beta are not the ones that are shipping with the game. Correct. For, for the, the, the competitive. Yes, competitive. Yes. Yes. There will be several presets that you can choose from, but the term ones are not the ones you saw in the beta. Absolutely. Uh, we are also exploring the option for custom variations in ranked and tournament play in the future. Um, so, so at launch, those who do want to play with completely customized variations will be able to do some player A couple of other things just to kind of clear up any sort of uh, confusion about things. Uh, I wrote this down. I want to make sure I got everything right. You're doing great. Thank you so much. Bullet point one. Uh, gameplay affecting augments are disabled in player modes and all other online modes. Players are free to fully customize their variations, abilities, and player matches, but they, they cannot change their character's game mode. So, uh, uh, characters in here do not have stats in Mortal Kombat 11. No it's different than our previous game. Correct. No, uh, no stats. Yeah. Finally, uh, player, uh, player match, match functions just like rank match, match, but with custom variations. variations. Matchmaking match will, though, still be based on player skill. Yep. So, uh, that's our statement for today. We'll definitely have more information on that in the future. I really hope that clears some things up. To be clear, the game, the day you get it, there'll be two variations to choose from. Cool. Uh, awesome. awesome. So, so, you know, we should start, start this out big. Big? Big? Like how big? I think I we should just, uh, what do you say from the power station? Just, let's just roll a trailer. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it? We're just gonna do it.
Okay, I love this technical gang status. I did slit his throat. Wow. The Nakata, they, they don't, don't use the typical like names. They're actually their location is their name. And that's how kind of loyal to their job they are. And he was the tribute collector. He would go from village to village, and you have to pay tribute, essentially like a tax, mafia enforced for Shao Kahn. And if you want to see how he connects to the present day and the Kotokan regime, you got to play Story Road. But that's kind of his backstory. He's a very greedy guy. A lot of the, a lot of Shao Kahn minions are like people that he created or people that he enslaved. This dude's all in. Like you'll, you'll see in his intro at moment, he's gleefully happy about his job. He's got some cool little trinkets in there too. Yes, yes. Uh, that shines into his game. Are we going too fast? Well, no, we need to talk about. We have to call that. That was a Steve Lord minute. Oh, Steve Lord minute. That doesn't get any better. It was, it was actually it was like a minute. Finally, finally. we're doing, okay. we're doing a lot of Steve more than 30 seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. But you round up. Yeah, yeah. so he's, he's all in on what he does. And they're all, you know, like, as you get the game, you're going to see some of these trinkets are going to be kind of fun to learn. And that's exactly what he does in his gameplay. He collects swords, maces, artifacts, magic spells. So you can see uh, he actually has this little backpack that two of his arms hold. And he can pull out pretty much anything our designer or our team could think of. He can pull out of it. And he doesn't have just four of CS6. Yeah, because you can see the, the, we'll show you in a second, the backpack he's holding is being clutched very close yeah, to themselves. Like baby yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So awesome. Uh, so just archetype wise, the characters would be like, like, like if you're looking to play the collector, what kind of, what kind of player plays This is tough. This is a tough one. When I was learning the plan for the stream, I couldn't nail, nail it down myself. It could be so eclectic, so interesting. He has a little bit of everything. And then I realized. It, it really shines in his personality. He is a collection of different archetypes. Like he has some zoning, some counter zoning, really good mid range, good mix ups. He has a command grab. He has some trap type moves. Yeah, he really does have like because he has so many different little weapons and artifacts. It's a little bit of everything. So, so, so we talk talking about like the, uh, the, the master of the type situation. Yeah. Like he, he, has he has a lot of things he can do well. He has a big umbrella, like a big toolkit. Awesome. awesome. I think we should want to go into it. Yeah, let's go straight into it. So one of the really neat things about the turn around. Yeah, you see the little backpack. And you see the, 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 the arms just like clutching it super close to him. Yeah. So he uses his arms and his his weird little legs in all of his normal. Legs. I'm sorry, but they are normal size. No, no, but the, like the way his knees are, his little feet. Like you can see here, he's literally throwing different stuff from his backpack. And I love how like food is all the arms. Yes, yeah, it's, it's so, so cool, cool how they, they work together. together. He, has he has a, a lot, lot of two-player animations, which are like grapple moves, which I love. Yeah. yeah. So, so he's, he's almost like a hybrid grappler, grappler in a weird way. I like two-player two animations because the other player can't do anything. Yeah. I love I this one because of the weird way it's down on his knees like that. Yeah. He definitely has a very interesting style. Yeah, he has a really unique it's, it's not, not like a traditional, traditional martial art at all. It's just kind of, I'm going to throw everything I got at it. Yeah, right? it's, it's like, like this, this is a sweep. His hop, hop attack. attack. So you can see it's just a mix <laughs> of weapons. <laughs> what? And 
He is a very unusual character, which I think is really cool. So, um, what should we start with? Um, let's, let's start with base special. So, the first one is, you can see the little mace he has attached to a chain. He has this really long range kind of project on him. He can actually charge this up. Uh, I, I hate to interrupt you for a second, but go back for a second. Even though this seems to be a Tarkat and Orphan, there's a beautiful rainbow back there. Yeah, yeah that, that rainbow. Beauty can happen anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay, continue. So, so he can actually can cancel out of it, which is another thing you can do. He has a couple of moves you can cancel. And if you fully charge it, you get a big old crushing blow. And it's going to take about a second before you charge Right. right, you're vulnerable the entire time, which is why the cancel is pretty decent. And it's fun for me to hear that crushing blows are going to as we play more and more. I'm, we were all sharpened for crushing blows uh -huh. more, and like, that's cool to know, yeah. Alright, so another move he has is this move, which is actually a projectile absorb. I think that probably wasn't why, because he doesn't have a normal projectile. <laughs> Yeah, I totally uh, lose this. This is so bad. Because they're heating up his arms. All right, here we go. There. So he absorbs the projectile. And the neat thing here is, if he amplifies it, OK, this is it for the series. If he amplifies it, he gets this orb that he can follow behind. And you can use that to force them to back or to block. You can use that to set up. Exactly. Right. So you're trying to zone him, and then he actually pushes back, stops the zone, and then he zones you. Another movie he has is the Star Projectile. I did not think of that, but that is super clever. This is like a combo ender. You're going to end a lot of your juggles with it. You can amplify it and do it in a And finally, he has this bullet attack, which he tosses this. If you amplify it, he's going to get a capture state, so he gets a combo. And he can also hold this like his mace. And he can actually cancel it if he wants. He can cancel forward or just out of it. It's pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit on the slow side, but obviously that's one of the main combo starters. So that's kind of his base moves. It's a lot of, uh, I actually say farther than mid range, and a lot of stuff that's not your typical move. Again, cancels, absorbing moves. He's pretty neat like that. So let's go over some of the low notes I made. Let's see what you got. The first, the first thing, thing I gave him is up mace, mace which acts similar to straight mace, mace, but it goes up, up which is why I called it up mace. Right. The, <laughs> same, <laughs> the same rules apply. You can charge it, cancel it, and you can see visually it looks really similar. So then you don't know if he's going to do the up or the straight. It's a little minor. Exactly, which adds to the, since you can cancel both. So they don't know. It does not. Another move I added is a command move. You cannot, but it does have a crushing blow, and that is for punishing a roll. So a wake up roll is invincible, except against throws. So, if you read throw, or sorry, wake up roll, you get a crushing blow, and you a pop up. It, you know, it's funny, when I first read some of the, the things where it's like, get a punish, wake up, roll, I was like, well, that's not going to happen very often. The more we play and the more we roll, I'm like, nope, that's going to happen a lot. Because yeah. it's such a great corner room. Yep. The other thing I gave him is, uh, oh, a teleport. This is super fast, has really good recovery. And this is a great addition for mobility, obviously. So... You know, you if know, you were playing a matchup where you're getting zoned out and the absorbs is too slow to get out, or he's getting overwhelmed, you know, you can use the teleport to get it. You can also use it for like setups. And he has different variations of the teleport. Right. Exactly. And it's super, super fast. Like the old school radio teleport. Let's go into his middle blow for you can I think you're better. Okay, do that thing. But still, throws are cool. My best throw on this room it is really good. I just love how they do that. I love the actual space when that last one falls out, smiling and saying, Yeah, Jack is fine. All right, so let's go over one more loadout. And I made this a zoning loadout. Okay. Again, because it can do add Right, so the first one I would use, you have teleport, and you get in, and you start doing your name. This one, real quick, 
look, look, look at the, the gilded stuff he has collected over yes. time. He has, he has some, some really cool, really, 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 really the maces are the coolest. Cool. He's got yeah, like, one is literally like a brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, guess. Yeah. I think one's like a small skeleton or something yeah, like that. That's, 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 that's the one that I like. Yeah, he has yeah. one that's covered, it's full of eyeballs. Yeah. You can, the art team, because he's just anything from out world, you can see they're like, what about a brain on the chain? And they're like, oh, absolutely, that makes sense. But that brain needs to have stuff. Yeah. So, so the first thing I gave him was a projectile. You can do it in the air or the ground, and it'll do dot damage and actually keep these flames on the ground. It seems like a, I mean, you can just build a pool of yeah. magic, right? And the recovery is pretty good, and you can do close, medium, or far. He's just, I love he's just, you know, still getting the pump, even he's on fire. That's his kit. Oh, this is the backpack. Oh, okay. Moving on. All right. You can see it's got a skull on it. It's pretty metal. There's a lot of cool so then I gave him a shotgun. This replaces his bola, and it is significantly faster. The trade-off is he cannot charge it anymore or cancel out of it, but this is awesome because the meter burn puts him in the capture state, and this has to be one of the fastest projectiles in the capture state that's ever been in the game. Like, they're there for a while. They're caught for, for just about a You can dash at them. Yeah, yeah, like, like a, a really, really common, common scenario, scenario is he'll do it with literally full screen, and if the projectile trades, he still has time to go into the combo. It's awesome. So you're not going to have like the meta game canceling it and charging it, but it's just straight up, you can't get more. If you're willing to commit to Amplify, it's an awesome combo start. And it actually has a crushing blow, and its requirement is tied to the move. So if they are on fire, and he does a shotgun, you get that crushing blow, which Gets a pop up. So what? Off. Without Not amplifying, it. if it's a crushing blow, gets a big pop up in the combo. Cool. Is that basically it for this? That is basically the collector. And granted, there is more to the collector, but we have so much we gotta go through here today that we wanna just kind of touch on it and keep moving forward. Uh, no, yeah, there, I mean, we, we are saving a lot of the other sort of costume pieces and for gear for player characters. Because we have got, I mean, I've seen so much of it, and there's some stuff, there's some really surprising stuff. We went really deep with a lot of the stuff we're doing. Um, we definitely have three characters to show you. When you've got you know, a trailer, you will taste of what the collector was. I'm also, I just love the little flavor text that we had for the names of the like Soul of Moloch or whatever, like stuff like that. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, of course he collected that. What do we got next? Well, we're going to talk about something real quick. Um, I got, I got some more. I'm, I'm Mr. Mr. Bullet Point today. Uh, we do have so the collective thing we've been doing for quite a while with uh, art pieces from fans. The collective, the collective, great. Yeah, that's the plan. Thank you. Figured out right before the stream. We're real excited about that. Uh, so we've been doing the collective for. We did start in in the KX section. And we have some new ambassadors that are coming online. I want to show that picture real quick, uh, Matt. Awesome. We got some, 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 some artists, some cosplayers. Um, Jesse Just Elise, I actually was a member of our collective from MPX. She was in one of the cosplayers who was in the game, so we put all those pictures up. Um, so we have some new uh, MK Masters coming. Um, we want you to keep them coming to hashtag MK Collective. Uh, keep that stuff coming. We love seeing your stuff. These are the new ambassadors. Please check them at the Mobile Combat website out for a lot of their, uh, their artwork. Um, Congratulations for being new ambassadors. And we are excited to see what you have planned. I do want to say this. Um, I don't know if you saw it. Maybe you saw it. You have something to say. I do. I'm going to say it. Is this a promo? I'm going to cut a promo. Is this a shoot? No, it's neither of them. It's a shoot. It's exactly this promo. We have a guy down who works here who uh, does some 3D printing. I don't know if you saw this. He created a Baraka 3D printer bus. It is. Unbelievably fantastic. So even people here in this studio are doing things for the collective, and we are going to show that bus off hopefully next week, trying to get to come on to explain the process because it's that cool. I saw it and I instantly asked if I could buy it. Yep. Yeah. It is awesome. Yeah. He needs more. Buying those two. So we'll definitely show you guys that next week. It's really cool. Uh, it, I mean, he's a very talented artist. I expect him to be really cool. And then I saw it. I was like, it looks like something we need to see. Yeah, yeah, he used three he used three model for it. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, first try painting this like oh yeah. my first try is for Aqua Like so we'll try to show you guys that next week. It's super awesome. But thank you to everybody who's been contributing to the collective. Keep doing that, we'll keep retweeting it. Uh so many years of awesome legacy of this game to be at our core and it's just cool that everybody's 
Dude, some, some of the most, most this game has some of the most amazing high play slash art that I've seen in the game. I love some of the really hard to do this stuff. Yeah. 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 Ye
free. <laughs> and it doesn't have, have to just be uh, five. He, he has, has the entire one back. back. Then eight. Nine. Now we're ready. ready. Yep, I'm ready. And that'll trigger again, again, again any of the tenants could be any of these clones. And you're playing new. You're playing new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then lastly, for his base loader, his teleport is back. Classic teleport. You can amplify it to get additional damage and take him on this fun rock. What? He is. So let's go through some of the loadouts. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, so the first loadout I want to make was a classic new loadout. It's pretty much clones. So I gave him the low slide effect. I, 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 yeah, I love Blue Jester doing it too. And then a brand new move that definitely fits with his style is actually a dive kick clone, where he, the clone is doing the dive kick. I don't know how you can get cheaper of a fighting game move than a dive kick, which is always good. You can never go with a dive kick, but a dive kick where you're literally sending out someone else to dive kick for you. Yeah. Well, also dive kick! Even if you can go hit with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is how I've been using it. Like, if I think you might do a ground pound with Jax, I'm jumping. If you didn't, I just do it. I, I never knew how important it was to use side up to strike a fellow. Yeah. yeah. Like this is it's all about pose. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There it is. So, so lastly, lastly MK Trilogy Ghost, Ghost Ball. Ball. Oh man. Uh, this, uh, this will actually drain your stamina. You, you can see it. it. He loses. It's, it's unblockable. unblockable. It is it's very, very slow startup, start but it's fully unblockable, and then it'll actually, actually take a lot of its damage. It, 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 and that, the slow start can actually kind of confuse you, because when we played earlier today, there were times where I knew it was coming, and I tried to jump, but I couldn't miss, I missed time. So. One more loadout? Yeah, see, see. All right, so this one I based on his sicker, and these are brand new moves. I, mean, I real quick want to say, uh, I want to give a shout out to, to Rick. The Hadoop from the Combo Breaker. I want to wear this hat because I need to show my last name. Okay. Is this another moment of Tyler's throwing out names? This is you guys just randomly giving a shout out. I like Rick. I mean, everyone likes Rick. Yeah, yeah. I like Rick a lot. Who's like, oh, you know what I do? No, I don't want to burn me back up with him. Right, yeah, like, I mean, is the universe that you're going to be one of the best things you're going to be able to do? I'm not trying to be one of the nicest people. I wouldn't give, so it's okay to give the challenge, isn't it? Well, yeah. 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 Moving yeah. on. Yeah. But he but likes me. What a frigid pick. I think this is kind of, kind of like, I thought the kind of was pretty good. Well, you're the only one. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Combo breaker will be good. Yeah, we'll be excited. Anyway, so this is a sickle-based variation. The first move they gave me is sickle snap, which is... It's a combo oh, extender and anti-air grab. If you can apply it. <laughs> Get the brown damn! Oh. There you go. So that's, that's a, a really good combo starter. starter. You can also use it to anti-air. That's, that's the wrong move. move. <laughs> Spoiler alert, yeah, right. Right. So then I have sickle overhead. He tosses in the air and it's going to drop down. Excuse overhead. me? And remember, I was talking about how good his lows are, but he doesn't really have an overhead. If you want to play a 50 50 base new, there you go. Does that has to count for your crushing blows for later. Yes. yes. All, All the clones are working. All the clones. Cool, I'm thinking. Sure. Why would that one randomly not count? There's, There's a chance, a chance it doesn't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Going in hard <laughs> on yeah. Yeah. There's also a decent chance it doesn't matter. Right now, Aaron is at his desk with So anyway, you can meter burn it, or sorry, amplify it. He's going to text me and be like, you might want to die. Yeah. <laughs> so that's close to medium and far. It does not track, but it's an overhead that they did. Literally from overhead. Like, nothing's ever been more of an overhead. And then finally, sickle teleport. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. He, he will, will always throw it behind the opponent, like I'm not controlling, controlling it, and then teleport to where it is. If you amplify it, he immediately pops them up. Yeah, this is a real neat character. I gotta go with this. Yeah, I don't know why you're not playing it, because he's super mobile, super trolly, super edgy. No, these are all qualifications to be my favorite. Kinda looks and dresses like he's still from the 90s. Oh, gee. Wow. It's just a I just mean these edges. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you. We need to get together and just like be each other's teammates right now. I think. 
Yeah, right. All right. So, <laughs> let's go into the fatal blow because he has an awesome one. It is actually a tracking super quick move. Oh, that was a dirty drop kick. Stomp him. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, run that through his brain. Oh, that was it. What a cool Yeah, yeah I, I think fans of Noob are going to be super excited. There is something about it that I really love. He does, he does have that that classic feel for those who you played him in earlier in the game. But it, he has but his, his own fresh take. Yeah, yeah, and there's a couple other new moves that you'll see. Yeah, that's, that's also cool, cool for like more things. He has a fun back, back, back. That's been a theme again uh, across most of the characters, right? right. Like, let them feel how they have before, familiar to um, previous versions. But bring in these new takes on these characters. It's great. It's awesome. All these characters. Yeah, yeah, very excited. I, mean, I, I would say when I was looking at the, the list, when I saw so new play, I decided to pick the new game. He was the one that I wanted the fans to see. Like, that was the one that I knew was really good. Excited. Noob is one of those cool characters that he's like a classic character, but he's not actually in every game. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like, he, he sat out in chaos, so it's really cool. He was certainly absent from the game. There's a lot of characters that really good. Um, awesome. Next, we, got, we, we got another, another character. Another character? Yeah, we do. Three. We uh, do not have a trailer for this character. No. But we're going to show this character. We're very excited for the return. I mean, have you even hinted at this character? I actually put it up on the, uh, on the, on the Twitch page for the title of the screen for those of you who can see it. Uh, we're going to show people already. So people do already. But not everyone. Not everyone. But most people. Not most people. Are you trying to talk about it? Aaron, Aaron people, Black. What is the percentage of Aaron Black is coming back to World of Combat 11. Yes, now it's at 100%. Now it's at 100%. There he is. Awesome. awesome. Denim shirts. Like, this is my stylist. One of my favorite looking characters. Because you're wearing underwear and shirts. I wear a lot. I, 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 I would like to wear more. You're known for wearing hats. I would say that's just a good uh, that's a word. That's what I love. Uh, uh, I get it. Um, so Aaron Black, what do you think about that? How, 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 what is his? I would say Aaron Black is a trap character, hybrid with 50 50, hybrid with not traditional zone, but people. Not, he, he doesn't just do, 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 not do that. He definitely works differently than you did last time. Yes. But he does have a lot of moves that could be out in really interesting ways that he has to Uh-huh. Cool. I see. Let's get to it. Let's, Let's just start, start with the throws and do a bolt for my Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, Joe Rumble. That's, That's my favorite one. It's, it's staggering. It, it is so realistically really good. Really the half flying away in Technic is the best thing in Technic. But watching Kano. Freak out is that he has dynamite in his hand. Damn, what? He can throw a threat. What do you do? In the heat of battle, it's tough. That's a scramble. That's so good. All right, do that. Do that. The hat's so good. It's the best thing. Moving on. When I saw that throw, I was like, okay, I love this game. Like that throw. So personnel, yep. people, personnel. One of the things with Aaron Black is we wanted to keep just a couple of those four moves, but then reanimate and kind of redo everything, but make them kind of feel like you won't be completely lost, like he's just a totally new character, but a fresh coat of paint. So let's start with, you remember the last game, his 2-1 strength, all those big punches where he kind of punched you like 100 times, it was like his main strength. We didn't bring that back exactly, but he does have a 2-1 mass strength. It's pretty good. It ends in his overhead, which is the time. He can actually do a slide. I just totally messed that up. There you go. And they don't know if the low is going to come. Another example of that would be he has a new swing back to where he bops you. Yeah, he bops you on that pistol. Or he could actually, again, go into the slide. Yeah, it's, it's an unsafe 50 50, but it can come in any time, so it's pretty scary. He has yes. this, this is probably his best, best, like, like range move, like, 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 I would say his range is not the best thing in the game, but from here, he has this, which is Yeah, it's yeah. such a powerful thing to do. Like, it's very, very I like that it's not, like, martial arts, like, he's not doing, like, kung fu. He's right. just right. kind of wallowing. Right. 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 Right
And then he has a bunch of strength. He's all the physical. Absolutely cool. Damn! What? It, it reminds me of like, like the old school like uh, Western yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 I really like this one. He's actually yeah, using his foot. So then the last one, maybe the highway thing. Just a fan, just a yeah, fan yeah, of the hammer. Very, very cool. So the last one I want to show is actually directly back to the back. So I'm super glad. The big boot's back. And it has a question board with you two times in a row, and it's over. So, so you're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, naturally you're going to do it, and then they get knocked down, you walk back, you do it again. The quote here works. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. And then you can mix up with the slot. And I don't know how the community deals, but here in tournament, we absolutely love the big boot. And we always were happy in tournament when people would like, people playing like a patient puts his game. It's like very back and forth, very old and thought of it. Nah, never mind, screw that. Big boot. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go over special moves, because they are, again, pretty, pretty different and, and pretty interesting. So his cow chops are gone, and instead he actually has a jar of reptiles and acid. Which I just love the concept. Uh, off the slide, you can actually amplify it and also throw the jar. And lastly, he uses his rifle and his rifle speed. So the idea is he pulls out the rifle and he automatically is walking forward. He's walking you down. Yeah. Now from here, he can actually cancel it with block, but he actually has to put it away so he's recovered. He can do a normal attack or he can start shooting. And they are super fun to do. The problem is, well, I guess it's good to be fun. He only has eight shots. After that, he actually has to reload. So you can use that move to let out all eight shots. Right, he has to reload. And you can choose whether he wants to reload just a couple of shots, three shots. You can decide. And obviously, there's a, a lot of recovery. You can cut it short, put it back. And it'll remember coming shot. Yeah, yeah, and it'll remember. Right. It does, this is not something where like it's on a cooldown. Like he actually has to keep track of his head. The opponent does how many shots he has. So, yeah. right. And it's, it's you can see it's very powerful and actually juggle them. So it's a, it's a great keep away tactic, but it's got you know the, the eight shots. I love the fact that you, the gunslinger mix is amazing. It's super always cool. been super cool. Really good. The walking them down is such an awesome. Touch. You know, and, and, and this is also, you know, uh, people who, who, there are people who are going to play those zone type things. They're like, he's walking towards you, he has to reload. There are choices he has to make to do these. Yeah, that's what I mean by he's not a traditional zone, right. where a lot of the stuff, you know, you're going to be putting these out and going into the stands, and you're going to have to know, like, are you going to cancel it? Do you have to commit to it? How many bolts do you have left? Is he going to then go into 50 50? He can do the slide, but. He's in a lot of trouble in his pocket. He's kind of a, a thinking man. Not to say traditional zoning is brain dead. I am a traditional zoning. Which is exactly what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go over his logo. Cool. cool. The first thing I gave him is actually a command guy. <laughs> he can amplify it. That's really exciting. Excuse me? <laughs> And this is an actual command grab, it's not a hit. He can actually, he has tick throws. Like this one's great. So I'll, I'll one of his main mid range moves. Okay, I'm right reloading. The opponent was trying to mash out of it or jump out of it, didn't go into the string. And then I gave him this low shot. It's not actually a low, it's a mid, but he you know, shoots the ground. And to me, this is great as a keep out tool to just get to Like you can see, He will go all the way back, and then we can start kind of his keep out game. It's a really, really good tool to just kind of keep him away. If the opponent's trying to, like Kano's trying to do his command grab or any of his pressure, you can just go back. And that also complements, you know, he gives him what he wants, and he can go for command grab. When he wants to get out, he can get out of that. Skip now. He also has some really incredible uh, gear. Oh yeah. I don't want to give too much away again. His hats are all amazing. He has an I don't know. Right. Some characters from the hats. Yeah. 
So let's go to the state of flow because it's awesome. You know, we've, we've seen pieces, pieces of it. In right. Yeah. But the, the beginning of the section is really powerful because it's actually a projection. Damn, what? Ooh. Damn, what? I love him catching the point. Catch at the end. Yeah, I, I love all of the little trick shot type things we have. I mean, there were some of the last two. We had to throw the coins of the last time we shoot it. We turned out and then we had to take a blow. Just all that stuff is just any other leaves. So we're still taking out that stuff. So with Fatal Blow, a lot of them, we wanted to really be good at it. And the injuries, like the attacks that go into it, are often very, very strong. Like, and you can see this one is great for beating down. Like you can see, because it's a pulse that you just out, if Kano throws a knife, he has armor, so he's going to throw the knife, and then he does it very, very fast. The downside is all the hits are high, so if the opponent ducks it, Aaron Black's going to be left open, and he's going to be back on that. But if he sees your movement that he's looking for, it's literally like, it's, it's, we want the feeling like you're a quick draw guy. Like you're literally sitting there waiting, and then right. you move, you get shot at. Uh, we're look. Yeah, yeah, one more look. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the bottom costume. Mm -hmm. And I like it tape. Someday I want to have context where in my normal everyday life I can wear yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be a tough game. Game. All right, so I gave him this new move, the Nether Bat, Nether Beast Trap. This is actually the jaws of a Nether Beast that he's made into a bear trap. If Kano oh, steps into this, beast Nether Beast Trap. Right. And you can see he's put in a capture state. And the Amplify is really cool because he kicks it. So it becomes a low projectile. It scoots across the ground. <laughs> and this obviously, you can imagine how this complements kind of his rifle stance. So put it out here, now the opponent can't walk forward. You can go into this, start unloading, and they're going to have to use like a teleport. Maybe Kano could jump in here and do an air ball, and then air and black can be ready to block it. It's a whole meta based on kind of slowing the pace of the movement with that better boost track, which it lasts for a long time. But it will break. Yeah, it will break eventually. Then I gave him Scud Shot. So this is a move where you go through a quick dog. Here's how it works. This is a move is super, super cool. You will actually hold it and shoot a projectile. And I'm doing this automatically. I'm holding through to hold it, and I can choose to let it go. And at any point, you can also amplify it and then quick draw. So if you're standing, so you have another beast track out. He's going to start to throw it or not. I can actually hold this in the other channel when I'm going to amplify it, let it go, or actually hold it down. It's a really, really cool encounter zone. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've never really seen kind of like that before. It's pretty neat. So that yeah, is Aaron Black. Some other moves we didn't show. Yep. yep. He's got yep. some really interesting things. Really cool stuff we did show. How about we go into a little part to show up in time? We showed one for collector and moves, so yeah, I think it's crazy. So set, set that up real quick. We will we'll chat about it. We, have, we will have some, we have birthday chat today. We do have birthday chat today. Hold off on those for now. Uh, make sure we have it. Uh, very excited to see the uh, hotel. What, what is your favorite part? To me, it's, it's got to be the, the animation. Like, they are, the trick shot stuff, any kind of thing here is super cool. They're just, they're sitting about, uh, that's sort of like iconic like pose that he's above somebody who's kind of crawling away. Yep. Well, let's just, let's just, just take a watch, 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 watch the beat up on this camera. Yeah. I'm watching it. I, I, I gotta say, I love that Mortal Kombat 11 got some of the dirtiest drop kicks right now in video games. I think that's nuts. Oh, you need body. Oh, you, you thought I had something else to say? Nah. Okay. This game is dope, and I just cannot wait for this what, to come out. That's all I gotta say. On mm -mm, stabbities. Oh, skate on him! Hello, baby. Hello, baby. They were black. Whip. That's true. This is from What? Did he just did, some, did he just skeet you some off the sky, dude? With that dirt, the, the draw kick. Oh, I lose. I 
I get it. Man, I heard black man do, I heard blacks don't gangster though. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh. That is not 
you're going to mash and zone. But the nice thing is, it's good not to A lot of people work themselves into a shoot over a dust. Work themselves into a shoot, dog! <laughs> work themselves into a shoot, done! Marks. Oh, you were dead body. You know, Jade is in the stack of life. Was he? Oh, that's good. Not anymore. I hear him. Oh, wow. That is so fast. I really like what you see Jade down for. I think, in my opinion, it's definitely the best guy. Goes on the rock. It's really good for him. Gotcha. Wow, unrelenting. I really like the, uh... Oh, knocked out the fatal blow! Wow! Tyler with the blow up right now! Blowing him up! If it's gonna, if it's gonna be a four, if it's gonna be four of skunks? I'm interested now. Yeah, I definitely like this. This is a good plan. Wiggle stick. That stick is so good. Has, has, has Derek found the answer? Oh, oh, he back on it. Oh, do, do, woo, woo. oh gotcha. Walk him onto the corner. Uh, uh, cr oh, 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 that's not a fatal blow. I don't think he got it. Well, I don't know. You ain't. Oh, trying to go in. Okay, all right. Is he going to go for the fatal blow? Is he going to try to go for that meat side? Mm, 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 mm. I'm oh, cradle suplex! No. Oh, what the fuck? Four, four, oh! Four, oh, man! Get him up! Ah. Mm. Doink! Finish her! Wow, the four, oh, blow up! Do another match? He's like, you want another one? The four old blow up and he like, yo, you want the run back fam? Uh, well, if you win, it's still. I'm just giving you a comeback match. I'm just giving you a comeback match. Yo, here a rematch, bro. I'm done. I was the worst at the moment. Is it bad or is it good? It's good. Yeah. I'll go ahead and Nice throw break. I'm in. I'm going to get into this right now. Uppercut. Just throw things. Uh, oh, another throw break! One. Uh, 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 fatal blow! Uh, crushing blow. I'm sorry. I don't know my blows. I'm trying to be a geeky commentator here, but this is. Could have went for the fatal blow, but didn't. Round two. Mm, mm. For the, oh, uh. oh, try to go for the gotcha grab. Missed it, though. Throw them rings. Uh, uh. Oh, missed the throw. Get the gotcha again. Rings. Oh, Jax is in there. Oh, throw break. Uh, throw them rings. Overheads. Oh, try to go for the full combo. Misses, though. Jax, uh. Just, just, just bust that head. Uh, uh, uh. Busting heads. Oh, throw break again. Just oh, counter uppercut. Uh, oh, didn't follow it up. Oh, went for the... Went for, oh, uh, 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 fatal blow again. I'm like, yo, I do like the enhanced, the enhanced um, shadow kick. That was dope, you know what I'm saying? What? We want a piece. Here we go, we right back in it. Ground pound, okay, rings. Rings, rings. Oh, oh, Jay, Jay with that, with that zone, though, with that, uh oh, work that brain. Work your body, we'll work your body, just, oh my. Oh, the sweep. Uh, okay, okay, I, I, I love, I love the Jay pressure right now. Oh, 
Okay, okay, we're gonna think. Okay, oh, here we go. Uh, uh, work it, work it, work, work the. Uh, uh, oh, gotcha, girl. Oh, get blown up. Really hard for this. I gotta get him props. You were either you beat me twice yesterday, and I had no excuse. That was weird. Yeah, that was weird. Like, I see what point said, like, I got nothing I can say. Yeah. Normally, I have, like, oh, so that thing I did with the punch stuff is open. Right, right. It's hard, it's hard to block. Like, me and me and Bert actually played, I don't like Mirror Match. We played Mirror Match today during lunch, I had a ball. Like, we were pretty even. Like, it was just stupid fun. Oh, yeah, it's the first time I played against yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. You got it. You got You've you done, done this many times before where you sneak a character in, a la Supergirl from last year, so I think I deserve to throw a character in on you. You're right, you're right, we deserve this. Uh, so now, so it is now officially 4-4. Uh, we're 1,001 things. We'll check it. Throw a cat to check it. Okay. So, and he learned it. Yeah. So, next week, I'm not sure of the day yet, we'll always kind of let you guys know midweek. On the online. So, I'm not going to, we can't tell a lot of them. Don't want to get them but I do want to give one. Well, it's just because we've been giving a lot. We have a, we have a, a poker by the name. He was very excited about it. He was very passionate. Very passionate about a particular character. That character is the boy. That character is nothing. And I, I, I've been playing her for a while. She was my favorite character in the game. I'm a player in this game. All in. Okay. So. Three characters again next week. Hope to show off that Baraka statue that we talked about earlier. We will definitely show Devorah. We'll talk about anything else we're going to show. Show the characters after the back. Matt Burke, thank you so much today. Uh, thank you, Derek. Find, find, oh, can you Can you please grab your belt? Can you please grab me the belt? <laughs> All right, fine. Steve, thank you. Derek, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. We can cannot wait to show you. We have to show you next week, and we're getting really close. Yep. The countdown is wild. 18 days away, folks. I'm so excited to see you guys and play you guys online. I'm going to see the show you we have next and score from next week. Everybody, thank you so much for watching the Combat Cast. We will see you again next week. Yo, oh, let me move this back over here. Yo, oh. and D, and D, let me move that over just a little bit. Sorry about your eye there, Sheila, my bad man. Yo, noob looking dope, and black looking gangster, and I'm just like, yo, the collective. I see why I see why the internet's hype though. I see why the internet is hype for that. I'm like, yo, I, I'm feeling that though. I'm like. As someone who loves the series the way that he does, is that Mortal Kombat 11 has really got my attention in a way that not a Mortal Kombat has gotten my attention in a while. Because I really didn't like, as much as I paid attention to MKX, is that I watched a lot of combat casts, but it didn't get me like hype enough to be like, yo, I want to play it. I'm like, yo, I bought the game when it was on sale for like $10, like sometime middle last year, still ain't played it yet. Plan to play it because we need to get familiar. It's like it ain't gonna be like in time for the game to come out or nothing. But I really want to just go through Mortal Kombat stuff. I just mainly, you know, I can't even tell you that. But I'm just gonna write this note to myself and put it in my head because there's a thing that I've always wanted to do, but never got around to it. So one day you're just going to see a very small video that's going to describe how I feel and it relates to Mortal Kombat. But you'll see. Regardless though, we have got plenty of more show for you. Saturday is popping off. I'm like, we got we got Beast Morphers in a minute. So you know what I'm saying? Be ready for that review as soon as I finish watching the episode. I have done some preparation for some things I want to get into this weekend. And there may be a special live stream depending on if I can get all the factors in motion and in play for that. So just be watching for all of that. But regardless... We have got more show for you. You know who I am. You know who rocking with you. You know who holding you down on both ends. Uno, dos, threes, and quattros. Turn it till you do. We stay winning out here. Look. We have got more show for you. No, no, wait. Hold on. No, 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 no. Don't put the feet. No, no. Bang, bang, bang.
bang, just like that. Wink and bang, baby. Just shoot him down. Oh, my air blasted. You feel me down? <laughs> but, yo, like I say, we have got an action-packed show for you today. So, please, sit back, relax, and stay tuned. As I've told you, we've got more show for you. Right after these commercial messages. <laughs> really, really hype for more to come. I really need to get down to a GameStop and pre order this game. Really do. Gotta do that. No, just so do that. Do that. Okay, cool. That's in my head, too. Like I said, more show for all of you, 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 vim, 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 they. Right after these commercial